Ours is one of the few publicly owned salmon fisheries in Scotland, owned and operated by Stirling Council, and our aim is to offer affordable salmon fishing for everybody. Anglers will be pleased to hear that the cost of the permit for this year has not been increased. In fact, it's been frozen, a bit like the weather. And that's not something you're going to hear often in local authority circles, particularly around budget setting time. Uh, I also believe that the parking today in Calendar was free. And we have our chief executive, Carol Beatty, here with us. And I see she's getting visibly paler by the minute when she hears about all of this uh, giveaway stuff that we're doing. But it's really important that we show anglers how much we value, we value them at this time. So thanks to our efficient and committed fisheries officer, Scott Mason, I am happy to report also that in partnership with Angling Active, we continue to lead the way in habitat protection and conservation methods. Can I just say it's an absolute honor to be here uh, to open this river for the 2019 season because of what I do for a living. I'm a full-time salmon guide on the River Tyne and I know how much this river, this day and these fish mean to you. So I want you to go there today, guys, try and get us a springer, but most importantly, just enjoy it because deep down, that is what fishing is all about. If you feel it in here and in here, that is all that matters. I think we should get the show on the road. Cut some fish. <laughs> Look at that, everyone straight in. I love that. Straight in. Couldn't wait. Snooze you lose. <laughs> I mean, it's you just need to look around you. Each and every single one of these people are for here for one reason only, and it's not the free whiskey. They're here for the salmon. Just look at it. Women, men, kids fishing. It's incredible. There's not a lot of things that could get this amount of people together in one day. On a cold day like this, it's minus eight. And like I said, they're here for one reason, to, to celebrate this river, this day, the opening of this season. And hopefully someone's going to get a fish today. I just hope we can get one for camera because they are incredible. What these fish go through in a lifetime, there's nothing else like them. And I think that's, that's the draw of these fish. That's why I've got such a fascination with them. It took me actually 15 minutes to catch my first salmon at the age of 13. I think it took 15 months to catch the next one, but that's salmon fishing here. That's why we love them so much. If it was easy, it, it wouldn't be the same. And I can guarantee that there's no other species of fish on this planet that go through what these fish do in a lifetime. From traveling back to sea, thousands of miles up between Greenland and Norway, all the way back to the river of birth. It's like they've got a built-in sat nav. They actually smell the river that they've come from. It's just fascinating. There's nothing else like them. The change of the fish when they come into the river, the colors, the fact they don't feed. I haven't eaten for an hour and I'm already hungry. I do not know how they can do it. And that's my fascination with them. Like I said, from the age of 13, I've had a relationship with them, which I, I, I can't shift, you know, and I, I do, I've got, I've got an absolute fascination and I love them to bits and I hope it doesn't change. And it just proves that days like today are important. They, we already know how special these fish are, but today we'll be broadcasting to the, the rest of the fish and angling community and the world of how much these fish actually mean to us and what this day means to us. And it's an absolute honor. Oh, what 
John, I'm not too happy with this uh, front that you've got. I'll, I'll tidy it up a bit. You're a bit quicker than me, eh? What you done, Tom? Eh? What you done? <laughs> 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 we are absolutely honoured that James Stoko can join us today to officially open the River Teeth. We're very fortunate here at Stirling Council, we have a lot of water to fish here on the River Teeth with many named pools, some that suit fly fishing, some that suit spinning. On the River Forth it's exactly the same, so we really do have fishing for everybody. We'd be absolutely delighted to see everyone on the banks of the River Teeth or the River Forth at some point throughout the 2019 season.